Only lame developers don't know how to do UI or UX. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today I'm going to be talking about why it's important for developers to know how to implement UI and UX. And I'm mainly talking about iOS developers, mobile developers too, but I'm going to talk from an iOS developer standpoint because that's what I'm most familiar with. Now, in my personal opinion, I think that all iOS developers should know how to implement UI and UX. Essentially what I mean is to be able to do a mock-up. Now, if you're not familiar with what a mock-up is or a wireframe, I mean, they have all kinds of different names. A mock-up is essentially just laying out what the end product is supposed to look like. And this doesn't have to be, you know, fully finished or anything. That's why it's called a mock-up. A mock-up is just gen a general idea, just laying it out, getting it out of your head onto any type of medium and just essentially displaying what the end product might look like or why something needs to flow a specific way. And that is essentially what a mock-up is. It's just something to have a visual on what is to come. So when it comes to UI and UX, and, and once again, if you're not familiar with that, UI, user interface, UX, user experience. And don't tell the designers this, but UX is way more important than UI. But it's very important that a developer knows both, and it doesn't really matter where you're working. It's just something that you should really have a good understanding of because when you're working on an app, especially iOS developer, once again, when you're working on an app, you really should know what a user is expecting so that you can put that piece of code together in the right way. Because what we are all trying to do here is to have users interact with our apps and be successful with that interaction. So let's talk about UI real quick before we get into the UX. It's important to know how to do UI because you want to be able to make your app look pretty, right? Now you might have a designer that's going to make all this stuff for you and they're going to just send you the files or the, or the screenshots or whatever it is. And then all you have to do is implement it. But if you don't know anything about UI and there's something wrong with the way that that person has implemented the UI, because remember, designers are humans too, and they do make mistakes. You might not be able to tell them where they might have made a, a error or there's some type of inconsistency in their design. And what you're going to want to be able to do is be able to notice that and point that out. So at least knowing the basics of design will definitely help you out, especially when it comes to interacting with a designer so that you guys can actually communicate with each other. Because a lot of the time, designers aren't going to really know how to code. And if you could at least communicate with the designer on, you know, just the level of being able to describe elements or to explain what you think, you know, might be a better fit for the app, then at least you guys can have that discussion, that dialogue and kind of figure out what is the best solution for this design. What does make the most sense for this particular app? Also in regards to design, I think it's also important that iOS developers know how to create assets. So you should be able to use some type of program, you know, whether it's like something like Sketch or Adobe XD or Figma or any of these things that essentially can show you what a uh, iOS app is supposed to look like or Android app or both what they're both supposed to look like, right? As long as you're able to, you know, work with one of those tools, then you should be good. But every developer should know how to use at least one of these tools, because if you guys need to, you know, put in an asset into your app, you shouldn't have to wait on a designer to go out there and plug in, you know, an asset. You should be able to, if, if it's, if it's relatively simple, just make it yourself. If it's a couple of circles, because you're trying to make the cloud symbol for, you know, saying stored on the cloud or whatever it is, then you should be able to put together three circles and make that UI yourself. And it's going to make you look like a freaking rock star, man. Now, this is going to be more important for somebody that's working at a smaller company or as an indie dev, but it could also be a benefit when you're working in a medium to large size company, because if you are working in a situation to where, you know, sometimes things come up during the development process and you know something wasn't thought of you can at least put in a, a placeholder ui you know something that's not going to look as nice as the designer makes it 
but hey, you still would be able to get something into that slot and you don't have to go on to Google and steal somebody else's design because you could get in a whole lot of trouble if that stays in your production app. So that's why it's important to learn design. Now let's talk about UX and UX is actually pretty fun. If you guys haven't worked with UX or just simply designing the user experience, which I just recently have worked with UX, it's pretty fun. Check it out. Now user experience is very different from UI because user experience is essentially the thinking of the app. Like, why are we doing what we're doing? Like, what is the app made for? What are we trying to accomplish with this app? And what is the best way to achieve that goal? Now, I do think that designing user experience is important to developers because it helps with that problem solving part of your brain that we're always using all the time as developers. And what it does is it helps you break down what is most important on a specific screen so once again, if there is somebody that is designated to, you know, coming up with the, the UX and the UI, then you can still have a dialogue with that person. But if you're the one that's in charge of just building this app, it's important for you to understand, OK, what is the most important thing for this app? What are we trying to accomplish overall? What's the most important thing on this specific screen? Does it make sense for them to be able to navigate here? Does it make sense to be able to navigate to this feature? So being able to understand what a user's experience is supposed to be like is going to essentially lead to way more people downloading your app, because if it's it's very easy for somebody to start using your app just by picking it up and kind of already knowing exactly how to navigate through it and do all the different features, even though they've never touched your app before, then that's 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 a pretty good sign. I mean, did you guys see the chimp on Instagram, how he was scrolling through Instagram and just, you know, looking at different videos? That's good UX. So overall, that's why I think that it's important for developers to know UI and UX. It's pretty much going to help you communicate with whoever's in charge of that. Or if you're the person that's in charge of it, it's really going to help you have a better designed app so that you're going to essentially have way more people downloading it and using it. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thanks for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to do these videos for you. And make sure you head over to kiloloco.com, check out that membership, and also check out that 12-week boot camp course that I have listed up right now. Go! Right now! Right now! All right, that's all for today, guys. Go out there and keep coding passionately. Later.